Hi, welcome to the public library. How can I help you today? You're looking for some books. Yes, of course, you came to the right place. Uh, before we start, is this your first time here? Yeah, I thought so. Then we just need to register you quickly so that we have your contact details on file and we can actually have you check out the books. Yeah, and taking them home. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's very quick, don't worry. Can you just tell me your name? mind spelling that just to make sure okay I got that right um date of birth okay. yeah this is just for um in terms of recommendations usually we need to we like to know especially for statistics as well to see what kind of age group goes to more certain type of books all of those things so don't worry it's completely confidential um can you confirm your home address in the group of romance, young adult, fantasy, sci-fi. Okay. For sure, we can send you the newsletter of all of the, you know, the general one with all recommendations. Yeah, some, some people like to have really specific recommendations, but it's really, really nice when people are open to just Finalize this and submit the form. Today is. Thank you. I never know what day we are on. you're looking for it today oh nice so you are trying to get into the wintry Christmassy vibe now I totally get it I mean we've been getting requests of those kind of books since mid-October yeah not a many granted uh, but in like beginning of November they definitely Yes, it's 
three different authors. An ill-timed storm on Christmas Eve buries the residents of Greystown under multiple feet of snow and causes quite a bit of chaos. One brave soul ventures out into the storm from her standard train and sets off a chain of events that will change quite a few lives. Over the next three days, one girl takes a risk shortcut with an adorable stranger. Three friends set out to win a race to the Waffle House and the Hash Brown spoils. And the fate of a Tika pig falls into the hands of a lovesick barista. <laughs> Sounds quite, quite intrinsic. <laughs> A trio of today's best-selling authors, John Green, Maureen Johnson, and Lauren Miracle, brings all the magic of the holidays to life in three hilarious, charming, interconnected tales of love, romance, and kisses that will steal your breath away. How does this sound? is from Maureen Johnson, then we have John Green, and then we have Lauren Marigold. Yeah. So, each author writes a story. We have a little, a little info of the authors here. So it is perfect for a cozy stay in. When it's raining and cold outside, you just stay in and read this book. It'll get you through some cold evenings and help set the wintry and Christmassy holiday spirit for sure. Personally, I've already read this one and I really loved it. Are you interested in checking out? Okay, I'll just set it over here and then we'll, you'll decide. Yeah, you can take up to five books, so feel free to choose whatever you want. Don't worry, yeah. As long as you return them, you can take up to five books at a time. <laughs> the next book, it's this one. This is My True Love gave to me <laughs> 12 winter romances this one has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 12 authors, 12 stories, 12 authors makes perfect sense <laughs> and it's Holly Black, Ellie Carter, Matt De La Pena, Gail Foreman, Jenny Han, David Levithan Kelly Link, Myra McIntyre, Stephanie Perkins, Rainbow Rowell, Liney Taylor, and Kirsten White. I hope I pronounced all the names right, but if I didn't, I'm sorry. <laughs> so, long cold nights are for falling in love. There's nothing more romantic than mistletoe kisses, twinkling lights, and wrapping up warm in the snow. Whether you celebrate Christmas or Hanukkah, winter solstice or Kwanzaa, this collection of 12 gorgeous stories will make you swoon with all the magic of the holidays. So, curl up by the fireplace and get cozy. You have 12 reasons to stay indoors and fall in love. How perfect is this? Yes, I have read this one as well and I loved it so much. I, I read it a while back so I, I don't remember every detail but I know that it was really really good and you just wanted to keep reading especially because there were 12 different stories so you kind of just got into the whole vibe and then you got to 
to know different people, different stories, but all very romantic and holiday. <laughs> The end, just like the other one, you have a little description of the authors. You don't have their photos, but quite a few of these names are actually quite known. And um, you can always Google them and see what kind of materials they have, you know, if you are interested in reading more of them. Yeah, you can always come back if you like a particular author. You come back and see if we have any more books by the author. For sure. This one has oh, it's on the top. 355 pages. Pretty much similar to the other one, but this one is a little more dynamic because it has uh, 12 different stories, while the other one only had three. Both rate super well. It's really easy going, a light kind of reading, so. Yeah, nothing too complicated. Just perfect, cozy, and get snuggly. <laughs> okay. Do you like it? Do you want to take it? Perfect. What about the other one? Yeah, for sure. So it's Let It Snow and My True Love Gave to Me. Okay. Uh -oh. Do you want any other? or are these 15 stories enough for you? You want something more classic? Okay. Yeah, I have it here as well. You cannot have something any more classic than a Christmas carol. There's no holiday book more classic than this one. Well, if there is, you must let me know. Because, you know what? I have to know. Yeah, this is very short, very tiny book. I feel like everyone knows this story by now, but if you don't, it's definitely a must read. With a Christmas carol, Charles Dickens created a modern fairy tale and shaped our ideas of Christmas. The tale of the solitary miser, Ebenezer Scrooge, who is taught the true meaning of the season by a series of ghostly visitors and given a second chance, was conjured up by Dickens during one of his London night walks, who wept and laughed as he composed it taken to readers' hearts for its humor, compassion, and message of redemption. It remains his past loved book. I agree. Yes, I really love the story. For sure. You can see here. Our mother. I love the story and there are so many really cool adaptations to movies of this book. It's really, really great. I love the Disney adaptation where I think it's Little Timmy. Yeah, and Scrooge. Uh, Little Timmy is a, a, the son of a worker, of someone who works for Scrooge. And then he learns of Timmy's disability. I do think the name is Timmy. If it's not, I'm sorry, but I'm sure if you Google A Christmas Carol Disney, animated version or Mickey Mouse version you'll find it you wanna take it? yeah for sure I can just put it right there on your pile do you have anything else? any other thing? or you could do? okay let me know oh for kids we do have Christmas books for kids too actually just got this one uh, someone had taken it but they have just gave it back so you're in luck they came back to give it back this morning and it is 
is post Christmas letters. If the child or you, I don't know to who the book is for, <laughs> uh, if you love Winnie the Pooh, I'm sure you will love this too. And I mean, who doesn't love Winnie the Pooh? Kids, adults, babies, elder people. You just have to love Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> the very easy to read and it has many drawings as you can see every page has its own drawing